candidates for holy baptism will now be presented. I'm Joni Van Rees. I've been a member of Grace for 13 years. My husband and I, and at the time our infant daughter, moved to Kirkwood in 2002. And uh, we wanted to worship together as a family somewhere. We did some research on Christianities and settled here at Grace. So ever since we started coming to Grace 13 years ago, um, like I said, we had an infant, and so we were welcome to start helping out in the nursery. And I loved it. Um, we rotated in every fourth week and got to meet people right away with kids young kids, so families in our situation. And then once um, our oldest was a little bit older and started the Sunday school portion, I started teaching and my husband has taught here as well. So for 13 years I've either been helping out in the nursery or for Sunday school and it's great because you get to meet so many people that way. And when God saw all the creatures that walk with two, four, or many legs, what did God say? That's good. It is good. I also get something out of teaching Sunday school. Besides meeting families, I'm learning more about my faith every day. The kids teach me so much. They come up with these great questions. So you prepare the lesson each week and you think you kind of have it. <laughs> and then they have a question and you're like, that's great. I don't know. Let's figure it out. And they go home and look into it a little bit sometimes. And I always go home and look into it. So it's great for me to learn more about my faith and feel comfortable teaching these kids with the lessons, but then also feel very comfortable with my own four kids at home. Um, why we're Episcopal, what's important about it, what it means to us as a family. It's a struggle to get my kids here, not because they don't like church, but because um, unfortunately there's just so much competing with their time. And I was kind of shocking, shocked that this year specifically some of my son's sports are Sunday mornings. I thought that was you know, kind of reserved as a sacred time. So it's a struggle in that we have other things to do, but it's not a struggle in, uh, that I don't want to go to church. Do we have to go to church? Um, luckily. <laughs> it might be when they're a little bit older. We, we try to make church a priority, like I said before. The payback is so much more than the time to um, the time it takes to prepare and to get us here. I just feel very secure knowing that um, spending the time here at church, learning the lessons that they're learning, um, our oldest is doing the confirm, not conform right now, and learning all that stuff about her faith is just going to be something that she can fall back on and all of us can fall back on when times are tough, which might come down the road. There's a great sense of community at Grace. Um, we do Advent event, we do breakfast events, we do pumpkin carving, it's really fun. The kids have their school friends and their neighborhood friends and their sports friends and then they have their church friends. And I did youth group when I was growing up in high school and that particular set of friends, they were different and it was, it was great to have them. It was just kind of felt like a safe place and Grace is like that for my kids too. It's important that the kids are raised in the church for, for my husband and me because um, it's kind of a scary big world out there <laughs> and I just need them to know that there's someone looking out for them, that God's looking out for them and that Jesus is looking out for them and that we're all always going to be here for them and that you know even if they don't come home and say I learned this lesson today and I know what happened to Noah and they don't they don't know the specifics or couldn't pass a test on it necessarily they know that this family at Grace and that God is is just always going to be there for them and it's just a comfort and a security mm -hmm.